All right, folks, we have a beautiful but hot day out here in Bama. I got Liz with me. She needs no introduction. The big bass laying machine right there. And so we're gonna get out here and do some dog days of summer style fishing. And I like to use a couple different techniques and pretty much what you have, we're gonna be out here in open water near deep ledges, fishing kind of the deeper part of the lake. And there's two different styles of fishing we're gonna do. One of them we're gonna start off you might be able to see that seagull over there. Yeah, you can see the birds cruising. So we don't have any electronics here today. We're basically going off of sight if we're gonna do any shad style fishing. Here pretty soon, all the shad in the lake are gonna get schooled up and they're gonna be doing their typical fall pattern. But there's still some schooled up right now. I'm gonna kind of watch the seagull as I'm talking here. What we're gonna be looking for are schooling bait fish as well as birds to kind of clue us in on if there's a shad bite. And if not, we're gonna go for some deep ledges and extremely deep points to catch those big bass that are sitting down there on, in that deep cool water. But to start off with, we're gonna be using search baits like a fish head spin and Liz has a popper tied on. Um, and then we may end up moving over to a Carolina rig, uh, half ounce jig or something like that. But these are my two favorite dog days of summer patterns. And I know that whenever I have Liz in the boat with me, we're gonna catch them. There's just no doubt about it. So we're gonna let the seagulls do their thing, start showing us where these shad are at. And then uh, hopefully we're gonna get on some fish today. Here's one. Oh, good one. Oh man, he's putting up a fight. What we got here? We'll spit it out, buddy. Oh, nice way to start the day right here. Liz just gave me a little tip. She's like, there's a little school shad right there. I was gonna drive right past this spot. Oh, a little fatty. Yes, that is one good looking fish right there and a perfect way to start. Got the underspin, 3 8 ounce, pearl white. Man, that's one pretty summertime fish. Got that real nice yellow look to it. Excellent way to start the day with a solid four pounder. Mm, can't beat that right there. All right, I'm going to let this beauty go. Man, you can't beat that. That is one killer way to start it off. Enjoyed that one. Underspan fish. Got to give it to Liz. She definitely got the assist on that one. Wouldn't have caught it without her. Oh, he's a good one. Oh, he's on the other side of the boat. Oh, Come. Gosh. He got you right. Oh, God. You got him right at the surface. There he comes. He's loose now. Good job. Boy, that was a heck of a job right there. Getting him. Look at her boat flipping him. Nice three and a half pounder. All right, folks, that got a little crazy there for a second. She got him wrapped around a tree, but she did an excellent job of keeping pressure on it and got him in the boat. Even boat flipped him. She was not going to let that one get away. And he's off. Good job on that one. Little one. Catching these little schooling fish, but hey, it's some action. We'll take them. <laughs> that one's about the size of. Maybe a little bit smaller than Bonnie and Clyde. 
Enjoyed it. Got it. All right. Hey, that's a little bit bigger. Oh, oh, oh he came off. Never I mean, he came off. He came off the stump. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. what I meant. <laughs> All right, Liz is fish on top water out here in the heat, having fun with these little schooling fish. Come on up in here. I'll help you out. A nice one, a pound and a half on the popper. Got them on the popper there. That's why we upgraded to those must add triple grip books. They're sticky. All right, Liz, I'll let you let them go. <laughs> he was ready to go. So far, fishing open water ain't really the key. Oh, look here. Good gracious. I was fixing to say fishing open water without any shad around aren't really the key. And that little guy right there about ripped the rod out of my hands <laughs> to be at less than a pound. Maybe we're sitting right on top of them. Yeah, we might be sitting directly on top of them. If we're fishing two different patterns, I'm going with a shad presentation and fishing like mid water column. And Liz is going with a Texas rig and fishing the bottom of the water column because we have some schooling shad out there. And I can imagine that probably a lot of the smaller fish, even up to, you know, four or five pounds are chasing these shad that are schooling and out here in open water. But I bet you the big ones are sitting down there on the bottom. And Liz is probably going to come up with one of those big ones here in a minute. So we're going to try to cover a lot of water using two different presentations. I'm giving it about a five or a six count to get it down about five to seven feet deep. And then she's probably fishing. 10 to 12 feet deep down on the very bottom so we'll see where those big fish are hanging out at On the underspan, came up with them. <laughs> I just threw my trailer off, hooked him right in the top of the mouth. And there we go. Underspan is definitely not just a wintertime bait. They're eating it up today. All right, guys, show you. They have absolutely torn my fish head spin up, but that's what I like to see. The old battle scars and teeth marks, chip paint, that means it's doing its job. I love it. All right, folks, a mid-evening report. We are catching a bunch of them on these poppers and underspins, and I could almost guarantee you that we could go out here in this deep water and catch us a big one, you know, a six or seven pounder off one of these ledges out here deep. But Liz and I have decided we're having too much fun we're gonna to stick to the one, two, three, and four pounders on top water and have some fun. It's not always about catching those giants. Yep. Sometimes it's about just getting out here and having fun. So we're gonna stick with these aggressive little fish. We may end up getting lucky and catching a big one, but we're gonna go for the numbers in this video, so. Stay <laughs> tuned. <laughs> We got off. Mm -hmm. He came back for it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's definitely a little healthier. Popper doing a trick. Man, he ain't not hooked that great. You need help getting him or you go? Liz always lands the bigger ones. Leaves the babies for me. You need my, you need a hand? Uh-huh. Alright. Good one. A little healthy looking fish. 
custom painted chartreuse popper. Strikes again. Nice one. Mm -hmm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Got him. Or he's bumping. Or, yep. Oh, there he is. If you can get your lure just a few. Here he is. He's thumping it. He got it. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of fish in right there, Liz. Let me come up over your line here. Now right, we got to do the old swooping swap. There we go. Liz, you throw it back in there. I got about four bites on that cast. Liz is doing popper. Liz actually spooked them, or they saw the popper and spooked the shad, and then the bass came up there and started busting. <laughs> Doesn't get old. Just take these bucks all day long. I just started throwing the bluegill colored Whopper Plopper 90. It's my first fish on it. We'll take it. One. Got him. Fish head's been doing the job on these little guys. Got him. Put it to fight. Come on in here, Slick. Hook them all right in the top of the mouth. All right guys, that is gonna wrap it up for us today. We've had a really fun day out here on the water catching some fish. I wanted to show you guys some more deep water techniques, but we had too much fun just catching them on that top water bait and that underspin, even though they were some smaller fish. We had a really good time. So maybe in the next video, we'll do some more deep water stuff. I've got all the lures that we used today linked down in the description below. But we got Tank Tuesday coming up here in a couple days where we're going to be testing out fishing lures. We've done that one time before. We've got another episode of that where we're going to see how our pets react to artificial baits. So subscribe if you're not already subscribed so you can catch that. Liz, enjoyed it out here on the water. Okay. Folks, we'll see you all next time. The mama deer here again. Liz spotted that deer right here when we were out there on the lake earlier and it was still sitting here. Now we're officially signing off. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night.